sessions on technique, and we'll, we'll sprinkle some games in, and we'll have some fun. Um, I know it's the middle of June, so we'll, uh, I don't need you guys to be in, like, kill yourself mode, right, when we're drilling, you know, like, exhaust yourself, this and that. I get it, right? As long as you're doing the moves, get some technique in, ask some questions, you can kind of, like, chill out and, and just get through the practice. Totally cool. But make sure you, uh, you cherry pick, again, things you like. Obviously, you're not going to like everything I teach. I'm going to teach, you know, a lot of options from stuff. Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily, oh, I have to do every single thing Johnny says. Of course not, right? Um, with that being said, uh, get everything I, I teach a shot, right? Don't, like, write it off right away. Just a lot of people have that, like, oh, I, I don't, this doesn't feel right, so I don't like it, right? That's wrong, right? You should, you should at least give it a shot, let it marinate a little bit, and then kind of decide. Make sense? Um, okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is pretty basic, right? I'm going to use so first thing I do is pretty basic, be scarecrow face me, and we're just gonna correct position on a high crotch. Once we correct our position on a high crotch, guys, then we're gonna get us, you know, more advanced stuff. Sound good? So the first thing I like to do is anybody work with Tom Ryan before? Okay, good. The, everything I'm about to teach them, I came up with. All right. So these scarecrow. Uh, anybody in here like dessert? Who do you like? You like cake? What kind? Chocolate, vanilla? What do you like? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake's good. Everybody like chocolate cake yeah. for the most part. So, if there's chocolate cake on his hip right here, right, and I shoot with my head down like this, where's the chocolate cake? It's in my hair, right? It's all right here. So, obviously, it sounds corny, but what do you do to chocolate cake? Eat it. Eat it. So, where's my head got to be? Up. It's got to be up, right? So, the first rule of my head outside my crotch is eat cake, right? I have to have my head. And I know it sounds stupid, but I can't tell you how many people in college shoot like this with their head down. So, rule number one, eat cake. Rule number one is eat the cake. Rule number two, this is one of the things that I wasn't really aware of actually until after college. I was so used to hitting this thing called an outside step high crotch, which is a good shot at times, but this isn't what you should train and learn to do at first. Outside step is like this. See how my knee goes straight down and my leg comes up like this? That is not a great penetration shot. So rule number two is my chest has to hit his thigh before this knee is allowed to hit the ground. So if I use outside step, boom, my chest didn't hit the thigh and my knee's already down. But when I eat the cake, eat the cake, chest is gonna hit his thigh. As my knee hits, see how his leg moves back a little bit? That's what I want. I want you to shoot through the guy. Why do I want you to shoot through the guy? I expect him to what? Fall. Fall? Sprawl. But I expect him to get off the position a little bit. Right? So I kind of have to shoot farther to make sure I correct myself. If I were to just shoot like this, and he moves his leg back, right, that's really hard for me to knee pound. But if I were to shoot through him, right, he can't shoot through him and he moves his leg back, I can still stay with this. So, I, so our rule number two is what? Chest is thigh before? The knee. Guys, come on, let's go. Chest is thigh before what? The knee hits the ground. Good. Chest is thigh before my knee hits the ground. Very important. Okay, cake, shoot through him. Number two, shoot through, we'll just kind of shorten it like that. Rule number three, once I'm already here, I want everybody to say damn as loud as I can. It's just when you bring your drive leg up, I make the little guys do it so they remember. Ready? Bam! Say it as loud as you can. Ready? Bam! Better. Bam! Bam! Good. Bring my bam leg up. Very important. Now, two more rules. Rule number four. Everybody's heard probably head up, back straight, hips in. In my, like my terms, just get to your stance. So if I stand up like this, this is a pretty bad stance if you were to walk away. So I get up into my wrestling stance. He walks away, I'm in good position. Rule number four is get to my stance. So far, eat the cake, chest, his thigh, shoot through him, bam, and then fourth is what? Stance. Get to your stance. The fifth and final rule I didn't know until I was in college. When am I allowed to switch off from my head outside single leg to a double? When can I switch off? Anybody know? Yes, actually, he's right. So, if I were to switch off, I'll face me this way. If I were to switch off with two legs on the ground like this, go ahead and sprawl, right? I get extended. Anybody ever shoot and get their hands locked and then get stuffed, right? Because they switched off too early. So, at Ohio State, we call it teapotting. I'm not allowed to switch off until I put him in teapot position, I'll explain what that means in a second. 
I use my head, I get up to here. One leg is up. When I switch off now, go ahead and sprawl. It's a lot harder for me to sprawl with one leg in the air. So I'm a little teapot, right? This is called teapot. Eat the cake, shoot through them, bam, stance, teapot. That's the five steps. Scarecrow. Rule number one is? Cake. Rule number two is? Chest shoots through them. Rule number three is? Stance. Nope, four stance. Bam. Bam. Four is? Stance. Stance. And five is? Teapot. Teapot. Switch off and go ahead and finish. Guys, I know it's basic. I know you guys have learned to head outside that cross before, but we're going to start with this before we get fancy. Sound good? Questions? Snap. On two. Ready? One, two. Go.